So I was watching Adam Savage's video about his amazing glue gun that doesn't tip over, and I thought to myself, yeah, as a prop maker, that's a problem that I have nearly every day. But I can't modify my current glue gun because I... Uh, I'm using it constantly. I can't take the time off to do a mod. Plus my experience of glue gun lasts three years and this one's 2.95 years old. Yeah, because I had a similar model that broke while I was building my ZF-1, so I ended up building it in my ZF-1. I'll give you a hint. It's the handle. And I certainly don't have the disposable income to afford Mr. Savage's $130 glue gun, especially during a pandemic with all my gigs canceled. However, this is a legitimate problem. There's more than one way to skin a cat. They don't love you like I love you. And although I don't have the money to fix this problem, I do have plenty of scrap wood left over from the stasis chamber build. Because th that's a thing that I have lying around. <laughs> you don't know me! Then let me get to know you! So I used some of it to make this dock for my current glue gun and potential future glue guns that are going to be of similar dimensions. So I can't tell you how many times I've set my glue gun down and it's fallen over and damaged my workplace, work piece, or my skin. I partially solved the problem a few years ago by setting the glue gun in a metal film can, which keeps the glue drips off of my workbench or counter, thus saving me my security deposit. And this gives me a level of reusability with the spent glue when I'm working on large projects. I just set the glue gun in the can, it melts the excess glue, and as I'm working, I scoop up a glob of it and smear it all over my project. It works with seams that don't necessarily have to be pretty. Usually these are structural seams on large projects such as drawers or fusion bombs. However, while it's melting through the hardened glue, it sort of slides and changes its center of balance and tips over. So I used my hole saw set to cut a little alcove slot just big enough for the catch can and then built up some walls uh, using MDF wood to keep the glue gun from tipping over while it's resting in the can. Originally, I wanted to make the walls a lot higher, but that got in the way of me conveniently reaching over to remove the gun. In fact, now that I think about it, it may be prudent to make one of the walls triangular, based on whichever hand is your dominant hand. So like the left wall if you're right-handed, or the right wall if you're left-handed. Or you'd make two if you're ambidextrous. Double glue gun! Twice the burns! For this build, you'll need an aloe plant. I puttied up the seams, and when they were dry, I painted the whole thing flat black. This is just to even it out and make it less distracting. As you know, well, as the subscribers know, I film most of my builds, and a messy background is not only annoying to a Uman eye. That's how you say that, right? Oh, Uman. Okay, got it. But it also screws up the camera's autofocus, which a lot of times I'm forced to use. I don't like having to use it, but I rarely have a crew, so you know. So anywhere that I can black out the background and make it less distracting, Distracting. I'm gonna. I have long-term aspirations to build a whole custom workspace with slots and mounting stations for all of my tools. So like a workstation that's a bit like a carpentry cart, but dedicated specifically to prop making. Although at some point I'll probably even the whole thing out with a top coat of gray just to match my computer, which clearly I haven't updated since 1967. It runs on DOS. So whether it be tubes or punch cards, I don't know. All my tubes get built into props. All right, there we go. My workstation is slightly more efficient. Hope you found this helpful. This is uh, mini DIY uh, shop tip Tuesday. Patent pending. Can I make that deadline? You know, even if I do, the patrons are going to be seeing this on Monday anyway. It will never make sense. If you have any shop tips that you think I or really anyone could benefit from, then please let me know in comments down below. And you know the spiel by now. All the generic YouTube outros. Like, comment, subscribe, bell icon, Patreon, Alderon. Oh, too soon? And that's how he got canceled. How dare you make light of the many Bothans who died. Happy crafting, everyone. See you later. All right, now I gotta get back to building props.